Before we start going over the specific principles, I want to talk first about a few search engine basics. Essentially, you know, our goal here is to have our website, of course, rank well in the search engine. So I want to talk a bit about how search engines work. Essentially, they constantly spider the internet, gathering data about websites. If you've never done this before, a spider is a term that you're going to run across a lot. Essentially, search engines are these massive, massive data banks filled with, uh, I can't even imagine how much information. And they, they send out these spiders that go across the internet, and they, they go through the different sites, and they gather data about the different websites. They will then rank the websites according to a, a variety of factors. They will also reward and penalize based on what they find. So essentially, there are things you can do to a, to a website that will help you in the search engines. There are also things that you can do that will hurt you, and we'll talk about that too. Important factors to keep in mind when a, a search engine sits down and looks at your site, they're going to rank you based on a few different things. The number and quality of backlinks. This is huge. This is uh, Some will argue this is the most important factor amongst everything, the number of backlinks that you have. Freshness of content and also quality of content. Essentially, you want to make sure that you're offering content that is not only unique, but also that it's going to be up to date. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that I think recently people have been penalized because you know you build a website, it's fantastic, but then you know what, a couple months later you haven't changed anything, you haven't added anything. And search engines, they'll look at that, they're advanced enough that they can look and say, you know what, this site's kind of stale, and then they'll hurt you for that. Like I mentioned before, uniqueness of content. You want to make sure that uh, you have stuff on your site that can't be found anywhere else. In other words, if you were to take your stuff and copy it from another source, um, even if you had that person's permission, you're, you're not offering the Internet anything new and unique. You want to make sure that what you have is, un is of course, unique. And you don't have to be uh, working with rocket science here. You don't have to be... Uh, at the head of your field, all you need to do is make sure that your stuff is the the, the order of the words is uh, of its own. You know that it hasn't been copied from anywhere else. So that means you can even take information and just put it in your own words, and that's going to be enough to give you unique content. Authority status. Uh, this is also something to keep in mind. Uh, there are some sites out there that are viewed as authorities in the search engine's eyes, and of course they're very very powerful. Um, an example of this would be. A, a site like eBay, you know, the authority of auction sites. You know, of course, everybody knows eBay, and they're extremely popular. Um, just about any niche that you jump into, you're going to find there are certain sites that are just always on top, and you know, they're very authoritative. They have a lot of information. It, it's kind of like, um, you know, the 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 one source that you want to go to for information. Of course, the search engines you know view that is very important, and of course. If you could gain this type of status in your niche, that would be incredible. Uh, if not, of course, having links from these authority sites is also very important as well. Age is another factor. Um, you could have the the best site in the world, but if it's only a month old, that's going to be you know hurt you a bit. Of course, you know that as time goes on, the search engines are going to see that you're not some fly by night site that just sprung up. You know, you uh, you put out unique content again and again and again, and, and build backlinks and whatnot. Over time, you're going to do better. It's it's simple as that. Essentially, those are important factors that I just want you to keep in mind because as we go over the principles of SEO, you're going to see that they they pull back to these these factors. Uh, we want to keep these things in mind as we move forward with the creation and promotion of our site.